Welcome everyone to HFN, the location to where we trade different and as well, we are your trusted source of news according to the price. So I'm going to give you all this article right here on what a gloomy day it is for XRP. Why? Because Bitbox is going to delist it from their platform. And the reason could be because XRP is a security and Bitbox may be trying to get ahead of the game. We'll talk about that. But before we do, as always, you guys appreciate our content, our video, hit that subscribe button, like and share the video. And then on top of that, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, as well as on Twitter. And then on our website, hefinancial.com, in order to make sure you stay updated on all of the news that we are delivering on those multiple platforms. So that is a legitimate question, though, that is being poised on this video is could the reason why Bitbox is delisting XRP is because of XRP being listed as security. Maybe they know something that we don't. And they're trying to get at the head of the game once the overall news come out that XRP is a security. Could also be because that whole Asian nation over there, Japan, China, may be creating their own separate infrastructure around blockchain and cryptocurrency and that it won't have no dealings with other currencies. That's possible too. This was an article right here written from Alcoin Buzz from yesterday. And then there's no specific reason why Bitbox came up with delisting XRP. Bitbox, Singapore based cryptocurrency exchange decided to delist it. In the announcement, they state, and I quote, we keep a constant watch on all coins that are being traded on Bitbox. If a coin does not meet our standards based on its performance, reliability, liquidity, and XRP fulfills all of those, then you get to law and regulatory requirements. That is the problem that Bitbox may find for XRP considering the SEC and the case that is ongoing for XRP. It will be delisted from our exchange is what they're telling the reader. The company also adds, adds that is doing it to protect your assets and entrance. They make sure that they provide sufficient notice before they take XRP off the market. So January the 16, 2020 is when the delisting will take place for XRP. These are the pairs that you will not be able to trade anymore on Bitbox. XRP paired against Bitcoin, XRP paired against Ethereum, and then XRP paired against, paired against Tether. They got one month after the delisting date to withdraw your XRP coins. Is it really that vague? In my mindset I don't think it's all that vague I definitely understand that the reason why they're doing it could be because of the regulatory requirements that is foggy around XRP and then another thing they could be preparing for like an Asian only blockchain to where no one else will have access to that particular cryptocurrency unless they control it it would be like a centralized cryptocurrency rather than decentralized According to the terms of service, you guys can go ahead and look at the website right here. You'll know that changing regulatory environment could be a reason for delisting. Public policy or compliance issues could be a reason for delisting. Or digital token specific issues such as being considered a security or regulated product by a relevant regulatory authority could make a cryptocurrency be delisted as well as market misconduct. Now we don't have too much information regarding market misconduct, such as non market maker conducting wash trades to generate liquidity, which could be an issue because I have known that uh, Brad Garland house in fact did state that ripple has no control over the price of XRP. Maybe he was insinuating about a market misconduct at Bitbox and potentially suspicious trading activity.
this is a tweet right here from January the 7th of where Ripple discusses the fragmented payments landscape in Singapore and how on-demand liquidity can enable fintech innovation and instant global payments for that particular area. But then one of the cryptocurrency exchanges based out of Singapore is delisting the currency that they provide, XRP. Makes you wonder. And again, like I told you earlier, Garland House stated that the company X uh, Ripple, Ripple does not influence the price. So right now, it's only left up to a guess. But are they justified in delisting XRP? That's the question that I want to ask you. Do you think they are justified in taking XRP off of their exchange? And if so, what reason do they have in doing it? This is the actual notification from their website that Big Boss created right here, January the 6th, 2020, of it delisting XRP. Now, XRP is not like one of your run-of-the-mill, uh, illiquid cryptocurrency that nobody knows about. XRP, many people know about this cryptocurrency. So for them to take this big of a gamble and delisting XRP has to be a reason. And could the reason be so important that they do not want to let the cat off the bag because it will cause more market hysteria for Ripple? So they're just going ahead and say, OK, great. We know the reason why we are going to delist XRP from our exchange, but we're not going to tell you about it, because if we do, it's going to cause mass panic for XRP and the company Ripple. And I think and I will maintain that Brad Garlinghouse knows why XRP is being delisted from this cryptocurrency exchange. Will many more come to follow? This is the first one. Are we going to see more cryptocurrency exchanges delist XRP as we go throughout 2020? That's another viable question that each and every one of us need to ask ourselves, because what about the other cryptocurrency exchange that we may have our XRP tokens at? And we'll get a notification that they're going to delist XRP as well, too. Just something for you to think about. But now, as always, for us, our focus is on the price chart. And that news came out January the 6th, right? Look what happened into the market for XRP on the 6th. It shot higher. Could it be because Bitbox doesn't have a lot of liquidity for XRP? Because on this particular day, uh, I think Binance created a perpetual contract for XRP for options trading. And that's why this market saw about 15 percent market move to the upside. And quickly it has given back those gains in less than two days. You guys can see from our video that we did on the 3rd of January that we were expecting a market in XRP to move higher. And what do you know? You could at least gotten 3.57 percent out the market. Or if you caught it on the 6th of January and you got it in on the close right here on this particular day, 15.36%. And it's all about timing and positioning yourself in the market in order to recoup these gains. We saw it all the way right here on the 3rd of January that the market in XRP was going to move higher. Even if you were to take the profit as of recording this video, you could be up about 7%. So simple easy to understand and easy to see. So let's get rid of it. And we're going to update you on XRP right now in terms of what we're expecting in the market. Now, automatically off the bat, I'm telling you, this was a very good day for XRP. I'm not going to deny that at all. But you know what happened? The market in XRP couldn't keep price above 21 cents so this is what i'm going to take this line right here and i'm going to show it to you we needed the market in xrp to hold price right above this level right and it tried to do it yesterday and it's not being successful 
okay so now we know that going forward 21 cents is the area of resistance there is a small chance right around 20 and a half cents that the market index XRP is going to try to hold that area of support so I will tell you that and we're trading around that particular level now on the daily time frame and that's why we're getting some small hints of the market trying to hold support at that level on the four hour chart so you got to acknowledge that as well too weakness is definitely dominating this coin though okay so from a risk adjusted basis i will still be looking for the market in xrp to move lower but i am acknowledging that this market has already found support at 20 and a half cents so we can actually see the market in xrp move higher but that is not a cause of concern until we see it break back up above 21 cents okay so let's play this out on the daily time frame of our expectations going forward in xrp and we're going to play the market moving to the downside all right on the daily time frame now i'm going to bring up the overall resistance area in the market in xrp right there around 21 cents like 20.213 will be the area of resistance for us and we're going to extend out this line a little bit further and then i'm gonna get rid of this line because the market in XRP is not playing alongside it. So we don't need it to make our chart clean. And we would TP the market right here at 20 cents. Plain and simple. You guys can see that that area was acting as resistance. Now we're going to play it for support. And that will give us about 0.329% market movement to the downside from where we are today. But again, that does not alleviate the market in XRP moving a lot lower considering that we did not capitalize of the price action that occurred on the 6th of January. So that's why we're anticipating the market move to the downside in XRP. Again, what do you think? What is going on with XRP that big box knows that they're not telling us? Again, do you think more cryptocurrency exchanges will delist XRP as we go throughout 2020? Those are the questions I want you all to answer for me with a comment in the comment section of this video make sure you always maintain your profitability and i will see you all on the next one